It's common for models to always need supports. Changing the orientation of the model as well as changing the type of support can help with saving on time and material. To do this, use the Rotate tool or the Place on Face tool. Slice the model and preview to see the estimated print time and material usage. Repeat this step with changing the type of support and rotation till you find what works best for you. Another way orientation plays an important part is print resolution and detail. In 3D printing, often detail resolution looks best on walls rather than top layers. In this top layer example, you can see the stepping of the layers as the printer lays down each layer. The stepping will look jagged and not smooth. In the following example, you can see the same area oriented as a wall and how there is more details. The detail transitions look better and look smoother and more accurate to the 3D model. So consider how orientation can help with achieving a better looking print. It is very convenient to print multiple parts on a print bed. The auto arrange tool makes it easy to spread your parts out. Sometimes a user may want to manually lay out their models or alter the scaling to the model. To accomplish this, we can use the move tool to move our models around the build plate. The scale tool can be used to change the scales proportionally by dragging the corners, as well as non-proportional scaling. One can also manually input exact values in the dimensions. It is good practice after scaling and moving to double check that your models are not intersecting or outside the print boundary. Any models intersecting will be joined and printed together. If you have any models beyond the print area, you will get a warning as well as not be able to continue to slice the model. In our next tutorial, we will learn how to sync and map your filaments if you are using AMS with bamboo filaments, as well as how to use third-party filaments.